What's up everyone, and today we are back playing Minecraft, the game that we all love. Um, so, today, well, in the last episode, we untoward this little area of my world, and today we are doing the theme park, and there's a giant gas right there. We'll get to that in a second. But, I think we need to start at the very beginning. And this is my creeper themed roller coaster. Once again, themed after um, Stampy's roller coaster in Minecraft. In the world. And if, if you, you listen closely. Oh, it went out. Ah, but my nether portal was. You could hear my nether portal. Actually, I can just get out one of these from my inventory here and this was like my first real build in minecraft so it goes very fast we but you see you can go through the mouth down its side through the middle so it's supposed to be like you're activating the tnt you just go through a little some flat bits and i'm gonna oh, an egg i don't want an egg but as you can see in the back here this is supposed to be like a loop. You don't really go on it, but from the back, it looks like you actually go through it. Well, like, if someone's watching, you know, it's just for show. But this is another one of Stampy's games that I recreated in my favorite colors, which is blue and white. Um, so, this is of course Tumble Tower, um, and if you watch Stampy, you know what this is, you have to flap the trap doors up until you reach the top. Yeah, but you get the idea. Um, um, and... This is called, the next one here is called Happy Gas Parkour, which I don't know what I was doing when I, I don't know. But you basically have to parkour your way through the tentacles here, and, wow! Oh! <laughs> and I have tested it if you, in survival, I've tested it in survival, if you fall, you die. Um, so there is a chest down there, if you can see that there, um, that it'll basically let you, um, store all your belongings, so if you die, oh, I stink at parkour. Basically, you go through, you go through here, so you jump all the way around there, you go up, and through into the bon um, fireball here and er um fire charge and get the diamond and it was same with the tumble tumble tower um you get the diamond you win the game and this one here is one of my favorites this is the drag strip um so if I were to put some minecarts here, now if I get in one, mine's definitely gonna go faster. So I'm just gonna do it like this. And you see first person to reach the end, get that. Just like that. And here is our shooting range. So please replace paintings when you are done. So what you basically do is you shoot all the paintings. And over here is my putt putt awesome golf. Because it's awesome. And because I said so. So you basically have to stand on the block right here and guide the ball through. Whoops, that's not what was in there. So you're, you have to right here throw it over. And it looks like I did it. So I got a three 
and you can see when it drops down, it plays a little song. And it was pretty basic. I'm probably going to expand it later, probably tear this down, build another one maybe in between here. I don't know. But right here, I did this for fun. But this is basically a basketball game right here. So you can come up and throw the ball into the hoop. And as you can see, and once it, it falls through there and goes into the ball return right here. So we can see it there. Whoops. <laughs> And we got some seats right here for the players. And if we go through here, this is kind of like where some people can sit and watch the game. And if we go through here, or no, not through here. Okay, if we continue through here and go up, we can get to the regular stands. So there we go. And now I think we can head over here to the Desert Drops game, of course, made once again by Stampy. And um, if you're a Stampy fan, you know how this works. This gets set on fire and the sand is constantly dropping and you have to collect as many cactus and th or cacti and throw it down your chute and then you can at the end of the game drop down and if it's still there, there get your stuff back so there we go is, is there still another one no, no. okay so and let me run over here and put, whoops, <laughs> and just put the golf balls back in there, but when we come over here, we can see this is the sheep shearing game that Stampy made in his world, I forgot what it's called, but, um, he, um, well, all the sheep just despawned. And there's a villager in here. Why are you in here, buddy? <laughs> but, um, that's basically that. And here is one of my favorites. It took me a long time to build. Um, and this actually, I was building during my move to here because my Xbox and everything was in my room. So this is kind of like my YouTubing studio now. But,. I was building it during that, and this is the Bow Battles mini game. So what you do is you basically set your spawn here, um, and you have non-enchanted bows and wooden swords, right? And so we do the countdown: three, two, one, go. So we both pull down our levers, and then we have little barricades here, so we can pull back and shoot over. Just like that, we can run out like that, swing at each other, and yeah, there's another lever right there. So, and of course you could die in this game, so that's why you set your spawn. And we have a few more to showcase, and then I guess we can get to building. But it is almost night. This is the Temple of Doom. <laughs> so this is a roller coaster, obviously. So we go down here. We open our... Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, shoot. We're probably going to go backwards. Yep, we're stuck. Oh, no, we're fine. And then we're going. We're going. Way. And then we go up the temple. And our quest right here is to get the golden block on top of it. On top of the temple. It's right there. Oh, we didn't get it. But we're going back down the temple. Over the top. And then going back through here. 
Let's destroy that. Um, and I can't get back out, can I? Did they patch it? No, they couldn't have patched it. But like, once you get out here, you're automatically teleported to the exit area. Right there. And it is nighttime, so let's run over to the house or fly over. Because <laughs> it's in creative. And we can go to this. And I can see some spiders. Hey, Spooda! Hey, Spooda, take that! Spooda, there's a creeper over there. Probably gonna have to kill that in the morning. Well, um. I want to know, guys, do you play Minecraft? If you do, what is your gamer tag? Whether it's PS4, Pocket Edition, Xbox One, Xbox 360, just tell me. And, yeah. Alright, there we go. Booyah! Creepy Slayer! Um, but. I guess we have one more mini game to show off, and then we can get. Well, it's not really finished. This is the slippery nugget log flume, and obviously this is built for idealistic squid. So, what happens is it's a log flume, so it's water, right? So we press that, we go on, we go up and around, and this is made to just be. Absolutely, until you get to the bottom. And there's a splash zone. And then we go back around. There's another splash zone. And that's what we have built so far. And in the next... Why? Why did that stay stuck up? Why are you stuck? Why are you stuck? You're sticky pistons. You're not supposed to be stuck. Let me just replace that really quick. Got like 20 mine carts in my inventory. That's ridiculous. Oh, we'll send you off. Are you fixed? Obviously, I didn't have enough. Okay, you're fixed. It's fixed. There we go. Must have been just a little glitch with the game. But that's what we've built so far, and we're probably gonna have about five, six minutes of building here. So our plan right now is to go through here, through Squiddy's mouth, come around, have another, like, have another splash zone, and then come back around. Okay. And I thought since this was like a desert area, it would be fitting to have a water ride. So we're going to come around here, right? We're just gonna place the blocks for now, cause I've always found that easier. So you can figure out where you're gonna go and you don't have to destroy as many blocks. So we're gonna, whoops. We're gonna do this. And we're gonna destroy that right there. We're gonna come down and over just like this because this will actually create a bigger curve when we're done with it so I think we can just now reconnect everything there we go so there's that and then we can basically come around here And we can basically just kind of like curve this way, just like this. That's not bad there. We don't need that. And we can come around. And here's our stopping point right here. So this is a little weird. It's like a self-stopping thing, so you don't have to get out. Like, it. it's kind of hard to explain, but you'll... You'll eventually understand when, like, I demonstrate it and stuff. So we're going to come around here. And we're going to bring this around. 
How much more are we gonna have to? Whoops. Will that even work? Say so boom, 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 boom. Yeah, that'll work. So it comes around just like that, and that's basically the track completed. But other than that, we've almost got everything finished on that. So I guess we can start placing track. And in between episodes, I'm going to clear my inventory out. Trust me about that. Um, so we're going to get our power rails. And our regular rails. I don't... Do we... Hold on. We might do a small splash zone there. I don't know. But right now, we're just going to go around and I'm going to need levers as well. So I'll just replace another minecart. Okay. So we're gonna come around there, come around there. Whoops. Come around that. Now, little trick, if you have a power rail and you have a lever, right? Instead of using like a redstone tor torch and hiding it, you can just press and put the lever on the side of the track and flip it on. And then that'll work like that. You probably do that, but just in case if you didn't, I told you. So now you know. And we'll just put these down for now. And in between episodes, I'll probably test them to make sure they work. Probably before next episode, I'll make sure it all works. We probably won't need that second power wear right there. Right there, so then we come around. Oh, that will not be possible. So, we're gonna have to... Nope. We'll, we'll just put a block of iron right there. And I think we should be good. Right? Alright? Oh, no. Let's do... We need a power row right here. Oh, didn't flip it. There we go. So, now we can regular and where's our lapis blocks okay, we don't need redstone torches so we put that right there and there no that's not gonna work so it looks like we've got to reconstruct this so we'll do that there there we do it here and here there we go so we've got that working now. So then we're gonna build up, up, and up through the mouth and down. And yeah. So I think that will be everything for this episode here, guys. So make sure you um, subscribe and everything, and yeah, so I'll see you.